Uh, announcement, I'm going on tour. I can't wait to meet you guys. Here are some dates, super random, but I'd love to meet you and just hug you and say thank you for just being here. I, I, you don't have to be here. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Jade, and today we visit a professional nutritionist to fix my shitting problems. Okay, you might be curious why the heck I'm going to a nutritionist. You're not Kylie Jenner, Jade. Why the heck are you getting a diet? Okay, listen, this is not about necessarily losing weight. This is actually a medical condition I've been having for the past two years and it's been causing so many problems. Okay, basically I have a problem called IBS, which is your bowel movements are very slow. It's hard to poop, essentially. Like you just can't shit, oh my God. I'm sorry, I didn't want to go there, but you guys already know on this channel, we're pretty real here. And I've been making videos about the reasons why I can't poop over the past year and there still hasn't been a cure. My stomach hurts, I can't move. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I want to dive into this video, just kind of make something that's a little different. I know this is not the typical content I post on my channel. Yikes. But I think this is an important message so you guys could take care of yourself if you're having health conditions to not put it off as long as I did. Because let me tell you, it affected my business, it affected my life. It really sucked to go to every single doctor appointment, the hospital, and the only thing they tell you is your, your solution is medication and something that's prescribed and there's no way of healing yourself naturally so i wanted to see the root of the problem because i was tired of living in pain seriously it was terrible so with that being said we're gonna dive right in if you want to know more all i'm gonna do is keep on watching all right guys if you're new to my channel what's up i'm a 17 year old entrepreneur right now i think when you're watching this video i'll turn 18 my birthday is april 18 but a little bit of backstory for you guys who maybe are new here. Uh, if you have IBS, you know that a lot of it is caused by stress. And I am a pretty stressed out person. I'm not trying to make myself special. But let me just tell you that when I dropped out of high school a year ago, my body just failed. It just corrupted. Ever since like around one year, two years ago, I stopped digesting food properly. It literally would go on and off. I would get medication. I would get better than fell back on my face. So the first step of figuring out how to heal myself with a nutritionist is to see our nutritionist. And I actually went to Manhattan Beach, California to visit Autumn, who's a certified clinical nutritionist and she makes amazing videos about food and health and mental health. So we're gonna go visit her. Let's hop into that. All right guys, so I'm here at Sun Life Organics. We have made it. I'm kind of nervous. I think Autumn's gonna tell me everything I'm gonna do wrong. I think she's gonna tell me how to fix my problems. Hey Autumn, I'm Jay. Hey. Autumn, nice to, meet nice you. to meet you. I'm so excited for today. Let you introduce yourself to the Domination. Hey guys, um, I'm Autumn. I'm a certified clinical nutritionist. I also have my master's in nutrition and human performance. So I love food. I love to talk about food and I love to nerd out on nutrition. I told the vlog this earlier. I really just wanna kind of talk about Mostly like really finding a sustainable diet. I know you talk a lot about bloating, which is like something that I'm also frustrated with. So where should we start? With your IBS, what are your symptoms? Like what goes on? So I think my symptoms, I don't know. Isn't the only thing that I just can't shit? Like I can't process food for a week sometimes. Is that normal? Is that normal or no? In my professional opinion, just from what I've seen with myself and my clients, it's about at least one time per day. Shoot. <laughs> Dude, okay, it's like a cycle. I picture this in my head. Yeah. I get stressed about that I didn't go to the bathroom, and then I get look in the mirror and I get stressed about that. Then I get stressed about getting stressed about all these things. I'm like, why am I a pathetic That's loser? And it's just like <laughs> this, this feedback loop from hell. So I've been on medic Senna fruit tablets. I would take this, um, this laxative pill, essentially, mm -hmm. close to three times a week. I just stopped last week. So I would go to the bathroom three times a week, but based on those pills. Yeah. So that's okay. the problem. I, I'm, I think I'm reliant on those medications. <laughs> this is actually getting so personal. Okay, so I had a pretty weird breakup in 2017. Mm. I turned, I was like 15 years old. Wow, I'm so young. And I went over a bad breakup with this guy. Mm. And you know when you break up with someone, your initial thing is like, Get revenge! Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> so I was like, all right, time to get this body I want. And then here's the thing, I don't think, I just told my viewers, like, I don't think I'm overweight. I'm making this video not to, but this is generally like affecting my mental lifestyle. So I yeah. want to make that clear. Yeah. So this is where it got really bad. Every single day, if I ate something, my goal was to lose weight. So I would 
take a, this laxative called Elax, and I didn't know what I was doing. I honestly thought I was just like, oh, I'm full, so let me flush it out. And I did that for 30 days. It wasn't that long. And then I got, I, got, I did lose a lot of weight. And yeah, mentally I felt like empowered, but I realized, oh no, I'm so, I'm overdosing. Because suddenly the medication didn't work. I know you believe in like self-healing, which is great, but I don't know, every hospital, and I kept going to appointments, they kept prescribing me like this, another laxative, and they're like, stop taking this laxative, but take this one. And it will cause more bowel movement. And 2018, I struggled with binge like just like binge and then restrict binge and restrict i'm now reliant on medication again so like i just like the cycle where i don't know what to do next so what happens when you're stressed it releases this hormone called cortisol so cortisol is a stress hormone its main job is to basically prepare you to run away from a tiger and it's supposed to just be for short periods of time because what happens is that it also shuts off the blood flow from your non-essential organs and one of those is your gi tract and so basically it means like all the normal functions of being able to go to the bathroom and just being able to absorb nutrients isn't happening. What's your thoughts about working out every day? Because I work out every day. I've been in my fitness journey for the past two years, right? So the first year it was just cardio. I don't want to lift weights because I don't want to look bulky. Yeah. And I know that's unhealthy. And then the second year I lift weights. I was like, I'm tired of being weak. I was really skinny. So there's two major things that I want to be talking about with you. And this okay. will really help to make it so it stimulates your GI tract and it'll make it so it lowers your cortisol as a result. And it'll also, you mentioned that you're working toward a weight loss goal, I believe. Or I no? don't know. I think the part of the reason why is like, I have this unrealistic expectation mm -hmm. to, even if I'm happy where I am, I'm like, I can do better. I'll be honest. I have a goal to like, lose like a lot of weight, but just be toned up. Right, yeah. And it requires you to lose fat and gain muscle. But my thinking is like, when will it stop and be happy? Because I don't actually have a real clear goal. Ultimately, the root cause of what everybody really wants is you want to feel good, Yeah. right? That's really what we're going to be addressing is getting your cortisol levels down so that you're going to feel less stressed, which is mm -hmm. great. That's what everybody wants. Yeah. And then also it's going to help to activate your GI tract because by decreasing that cortisol, it's going to make it so your GI tract will turn back on. We're, we're talking nutrition, so let's uh, start with the beginning. What do you generally have? What time does it start? After I work out, I will have my oatmeal and peanut butter. I'm not hungry, but I'm stressed. I just start eating more snacks. So currently, I've been chowing down on like a protein bar or nuts. Again, I'm not hungry, but I'm just stressed. So the next thing I do is like, okay, if I can't chew, let me drink. So I drink a glass of coffee. I'm actually not hungry again because <laughs> I ate so much earlier, but I just said, you know what, at work. So like, I just need to get out. Like, I just need to get out. So what yeah. do you do when you get out? You eat. Mm -hmm. So then I'll go to Whole Foods, which is down the street. And I'll get a salad. I finished a meal like that and I'm like, I need a sweet. I have a, such a bad sweet tooth. So I'm still at, so here to understand, I'm still at Whole Foods, so it's so tempting to like <laughs> browse. So then I'll have like either ice cream that's dairy free or another protein bar. <laughs> I ate like another, like another portion of like toast with almond butter or a salad. Just something like another meal, just because I'm like, I'm not gonna eat throughout the rest of the day. This is it. And I won't eat till 5 p.m. And then like I'm actually hungry, but then I'm not hungry enough to eat a full meal. So I'll go back to the sweets. So <laughs> I'll have uh, a protein shake again. But this the protein shake I know is like not the best, but it's like a smoothie or something that's like liquid did and just like light. It's ice protein powder banana date. It's like pretty sweet. And it's pretty late. And then I realized why not get tacos? <laughs> Then I get mad, and the next day I won't eat anything. Like, it, <laughs> that's a cycle. A sweet tooth is actually a really big sign of a couple factors. First of all, that you're stressed, which you yeah. are, because when you have high cortisol, it also results in a higher blood glucose level, and then oh. a higher blood glucose will also result in higher insulin, which is the storing hormone, which causes your body to then store that blood glucose, and that causes a crash, and it causes you to crave more sugar. The other thing that can happen for why you're actually craving sweets, and this is a big one, is that you're not eating enough. If you don't eat until satiated, then you don't fully turn off your hunger hormones, and that's why you're snacking a lot throughout the day. <laughs> <laughs> and that also results with your GI issues of what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. You are having a lot of carbohydrates or sugar. But by always having that higher amount of sugar, that actually makes it so you have so spikes and falls mm. in your blood glucose levels. Is carbs bad? No. Carbs aren't bad. Okay. And in fact, we need them during certain times of the day. Yeah, and so we actually do want to have starchy carbs at night 
but not necessarily in the morning because it'll make you more hungry, it'll make you eat more often, and it'll just make it so that you're riding that roller coaster throughout the day. So what we're going to be doing is basically laying out your food so that it helps to match that more normal circadian rhythm of having high cortisol in the morning and then lower at night so that you can get great sleep and so you don't have those spikes and falls and energy and stress and, and snacking so that we can get your GI tract moving. <laughs> all right let's do it well coffee is actually great and okay. it does stimulate a bowel movement too so caffeine's okay yeah caffeine's fine okay it's um it has that bitter quality and bitter actually stimulates your liver will help you to actually flush everything out we want to get a high quality coffee because you can have coffee and um if it's not high quality if it contains mold which most coffees do what yeah yeah so um <laughs> having a mold free coffee will make it so that you aren't in that state of fight or flight as much oh it's always sometimes it's so jittery that will help to bring your cortisol levels down wow. and that's what we want to do um so i actually brought you a sample <gasps> yep so you can this is the one that i use so you can take this yep thank you autumn wow so the next one we sort of talked about this already but not having a high carbohydrate breakfast instead of having a higher fat breakfast with a moderate amount of protein because in order to turn off your hunger hormones you need fiber fat and protein smoothies are a really easy way to get all your healthy fats in also some protein but being able to limit the amount of carbohydrates what we're trying to do as well is to make you eat until satiated so eat until you're full eat until you're satisfied so that you aren't snacking as much throughout the day mm. and that will make it so it stimulates this pathway which i won't go into the science and details but basically it requires a full three hours and 45 minutes in order to complete your lunch sounds pretty great right yeah. now with okay. having the salad yes <laughs> one thing i want to do is actually have you increase you said it's not very much avocado no okay i want you to increase that for um dinner we talked about starchy carbs are actually still good we yes. just want them at certain times of the day i'm excited yes so yes. we still have carbohydrates just at night time so I want you to be including them like a like sweet potato, uh, squash, beans, quinoa. Those are all great options. This is important though. Where is the dessert? <laughs> dessert is actually fine. We just okay. want to be having that after dinner. Got and it. you like chocolate? Yes. Chocolate's actually great because it contains a lot of magnesium, which is important to have at night. <laughs> yeah. So you snacking as a way to determine, okay, am I eating enough? Okay. Or am I stressed? Got it. And if you are stressed, then take a walk outside. Okay. Instead of going to snack on something, just take a walk outside. Okay. Okay, so for your exercise, you're working out every day, some type of strength or hit yes, or cardio. Yes. Okay, again, we want to bring your uh, cortisol levels down. I put together a formula yes. for you. So I put on here two times per week for hit and then, well, high intensity interval training. It's always kind of like a weird thing to think about of working out less will cause you to actually get more um, toned, but it's actually what. <laughs> really? Yeah, and at least compared to working out every day. Right, right. Right, because we also need that recovery time. Got it. Right? So, no text 60 minutes before bed. So what are you gonna do? Let's write down exactly what you're gonna do. Ah, ah, I love my YouTube. Okay, I'm going to read a real book <laughs> and I'm going to draw and do my night return routine. Okay. Pray for me, I like chewing. Well, let's just start off. I don't want this video to be too long, but you have to say to end because if you are suffering, with any sort of mental health. This is not even IBS related. I don't care if you had a long day, like pause this video, maybe watch it tomorrow. Like there's so many good gems and people will charge you like hundreds of thousands of dollars for this information. So like, I hope this could be helpful. This is not about just like getting skinny. This is literally about how to use food and power yourself to feel better. And I learned so much because I was doing so many things wrong. I basically thought that to only get results, you need to die physically like, sweating till you can't breathe like that's how hard i took it so she said like crank it down a little bit so i did and those were the action steps i got from autumn it was time to execute and i'll be honest you guys i just i'm, I'm bad at executing i don't know about you but every time i do like a diet or meal plan even if it's like tasty like i'll still just go off track because my rebellious heart is just like fuck this shit. but i try my best just for you guys for this video to see if i follow these actual steps of putting the right food in my body at the right time and trying to heal my gut, will this help me? Shit, we're about to find out. Good morning guys, today it's a new day. I'm having a smoothie because that's my breakfast. I had an apple as well, which is low glycemic value. Dude, I'm so new to this. So far, I'm following Autumn's nutrition guide as best as I can. It's honestly very hard. You should have seen me at the juice place today. I was like having a list of a custom smoothie recipe and I just feel like I'm just a bitchy girl now because I have like a specific diet and my dad's really annoying. But um, <laughs> we feel really good. I have to say it's not like 
a whole day after like trying this meal plan but i feel like actually happy because i don't know just it just feels good and i don't know why but i'm increasing my fat intake so like avocado and nuts and i thought i would feel really like shitty but i don't know i think i just feel full because i would always be starving after every meal so now i just feel better the only thing i have to say is not eating for four hours is kind of hard because i like chewing a lot so i don't know what to do so i just try to drink water but it's so hard because i like chewing hey guys day two i'm in the car again i just finished a workout it's 8 a.m i went to whole foods i got a smoothie this is a ketogenic smoothie from whole foods i technically am doing like kind of keto in the morning and doing carbs at night and i slept pretty well the only thing i have noticed is like for the four hour period i'm trying to not eat it's hard and it makes me like my stomach growl so maybe i need to increase my calories for my meals because i'm like kind of hungry if i don't eat okay so i don't know what happened i just took a shower after that smoothie you saw and now like my stomach expanded literally to the point i look like five months pregnant look like i don't know if you guys see that but i it's just it's just i'm just bloated for no reason and i'm trying to think because i think the high intake of fat may have caused something which i'm really annoyed about because maybe i i drank too much volume in too short a time but i feel really bad now so i decided just to wait it out good morning guys day <coughs> it's day four i got a whole bowl and this is keto friendly because it's really low in sugar surprisingly they put cauliflower and spinach in here but it tastes pretty good we have almond butter instead of honey keto keto bitch all right so week one recap basically um it wasn't so good i was bloating a lot I was actually losing hope on this entire meal plan because i thought i would be like instantly cured but nevertheless i kept going because i wanted to see like for one month you know can i really see results what's the maximum results i can get from this so i kept going with the meal plan and this is what happened yay oh my god it's been i think this is a six month delay i am so excited i just came back from la so this is such a surprise ah! wait hold up you guys one two three one two three we got the YouTube plaque. You guys, thank you so much. I can. This is not for me. This is for us, the domination. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, it's so. Whoo, this is crazy. Thank you, guys. This is for us. Love you. Okay, so we two. It's better. You guys, I'm not gonna reveal the entire results yet, but halfway through, I did go to the bathroom. Yay! Okay, I did fall off my diet. <laughs> I'll be honest, I wasn't that consistent, okay? I'm not I'm not perfect, but I tried my best. So week two was pretty good. Went to the bathroom, pooped, but I was still really stressed. This is just something personal in my business life. I, at this time, okay, I had a little bit of a mental breakdown because it was, go it was just a pivotal moment for my business, PBJ app, you guys know. You know when you wanna do something and you're so confident in it, but then you realize it's not right for you and you make a pitiful turn, but you're, it scares the shit out of you? So yeah, that's what happened to me. Um, I realized I didn't want to approach PBJ app like I did before. Like my company was supposed to help creators grow, but I felt like the method we were doing it wasn't as efficient. So as an entrepreneur, sometimes you have to make tough decisions. So I had to pull a plug on an idea that we built for fucking a year um, and pivot in two weeks. And I actually, it's right here. The product is launched. We just launched, I'll put more details below. But that process was so scary. I, I don't know how to describe to you guys because I actually kept... A lot of that emotion from you guys but i cried almost every single day and on top of that i couldn't poo as much as i'd like to so it wasn't it wasn't a good situation but anyways regardless i still went through um and then we arrived to week three i picked up some keto protein or this is collagen protein i think and it's keto friendly autumn basically recommended i pick this up because i was not feeling the other protein i got like vanilla protein okay i have not found vanilla protein that doesn't taste like ass so this is flavorless so i put these in my smoothies and it's real better so we're gonna do that right now week three was good it's definitely good i started to get sick though i remember week three was tough because 
I just didn't walk as much. I couldn't work out and I was depressed because I couldn't work. And you guys know me, I'm a little workaholic. And I, um, you know when you feel bad about not being able to work, but you just still lay in bed and overthink? Yeah, that was me throughout the entire week. I was sick. I was pooping, but I was sick. So I, as you can see, there's never a healthy combination of, of like balance for Jade. But I remember just remembering that this time will pass and I will get better. I just need to rest. So I tried my best not to work. Um, I tried my best to eat a few more sweet treats. I did have a lot of cheat meals this week because I was sick and I was like, well, why the fuck not? Um, so I ate a lot of ice cream, a lot of Halo Top ice cream, which I, I think is pretty healthy, right? The one problem I have with Halo Top, and I haven't looked at their ingredients in a while, so I'm not really sure if they still have this. Okay. I know they use a lot of fake sugars, so like sugar alcohols, which okay. is how they keep the calories so low. Oh. Having just plain regular ice cream would be better than having something that's like going to disrupt your gut bacteria. It's okay. Hey guys, so it's March 18th and I'm about to meet Autumn and I realized that I feel really shitty. Basically, I was eating really clean and I'm eating a smoothie now, but yesterday I kind of ate a lot of food at Disney because I go out and when I go out, I automatically think to order things that I just don't typically eat, which makes sense. Like, I don't feel guilty, like, I just feel gross. Like, I'm about to, like, <laughs> throw up. So I hope this is gonna cure me. I am so tired, too. All right, so week four was good. I actually went back to Manhattan Beach, California to visit Autumn to give her her results and to share what we've gotten because I kind of kept some details from you guys. The question has always been, will a nutritionist solve my problems long term of being able to fix my pooping problems. Will Jade be able to go to the bathroom consistently? Well, I'm about to reveal the results one month after. Time to go visit Manhattan Beach. Hi, Autumn. How are you? I was like, I don't know how to say it. I have some updates. All right. So. A month ago you told me a few, a lot of things that I was doing wrong and I was doing right. But I've learned most of the things that I've gotten from that checklist you gave me. Mm -hmm. I boiled down to like three things and the first thing you said was really interesting. Low carb, low sugar in the morning and lunch. Yeah. Keep it to the afternoon. And then the next thing I really took away, one of the biggest things was like three hours and 45 minutes of not eating between your meals. I realized that if I really want to solve my indigestive problem, I also need to sleep. And the last mm -hmm. thing you said was like, one hour before bedtime, turn off your phone. But that was really hard. I was like going to the bathroom every morning, every morning. Do you understand? This is so crazy to me for not like going to the bathroom for a week and going to the ER because of that. Like this is crazy. So week two, I was like, oh, hallelujah. <laughs> I feel so good. And I, weirdly enough, the timing was perfect where I was eating clean and you know, starting with you, your advice and Four weeks after that, I actually had a photo shoot. So I was very lean and I was very mm -hmm. less bloated than usual. I I've never seen my body less bloated. I'll put a picture. <laughs> and I remember like going to a photo shoot feeling confident. Yeah. And also I went to the bathroom. <laughs> I was like, what? Life is good. I'm not joking because I know people are like, wow, she's so like over dramatic. But the biggest thing I took away from eating clean and not even eating clean, just like mindful. Yeah is that I thought like being bloated was like the solution was to starve and then binge, starve and binge. Yeah. It was inconsistent. What I found was a consistency having a routine three hours and 45 minutes. <laughs> it really helped um, to the point where last Saturday, I felt really confident in my shoot. So I didn't snack. I ate enough food to feel full. It's mm -hmm. week four and I think I've, I've grown in, and now I have like the next step, which is like, yeah. I, I still have problems. Like people maybe see this as like the end and that was a diet and that's it. But this is essentially like a lifestyle yeah. and I want to continue. Yeah, well you feel good and you don't want to go back to not feeling I good. I never want to yeah. go back. I actually ate a lot of food yesterday. That's yeah. the, the quantity is not fine. It's just the quality wasn't there. Yeah. I was snacking at Disney because lines yeah. are like bullshit. Because what do you do after, you know, a treat date? Yeah, so the biggest thing that, that's most important with treat meals is First of all, having it be something that you love. What I find to be most successful, first of all, is to have your treat meal generally be in the afternoon or dinner time. Okay. Just because then leading up to that, you're still on track. You're still having those things that you know are going to make you feel good. I teleported. Wow. Wow. Okay. Another side effect of all healthy right. eating. So as I said, 
my digestion is a lot better but my next question is now that my digestion is better as a business owner like because my main pillar problem was digestion i was like my stress because of digestion now that's kind of fixed i mean there's still problems here and there but like now my next level of stress is like my business and how I'm doing. I mean, stress is a part of life. It just depends on how we're going to handle that stress. Mm -hmm. And if we're giving our bodies the tools that we can use to handle that stress. And for you, since you're in the field of helping others. Yeah, I, I mean, mean I, you, you, yeah. You have to take care of yourself first. And I know that's such a cheesy saying. It's something that's said all the time, but there's a reason why people are saying it. And even if you aren't in the field of helping people, like like if you don't have clients or whatever your job may be, it's still your relationships with your family, your relationships with your friends. Like you don't want to be an angry person. You don't want, you want to feel good. Autumn, she helps so many people find cure to anxiety with nutrition. I will actually show you guys what I've been working on with Autumn. So here we have, you guys know, but I'm obsessed with helping others and entrepreneurs with their business so i remember autumn saying that you were like hand messaging people yeah how long did it take you to dm people their questions about nutrition it was a long time yeah every day probably about four hours a day Easy. four hours a day yeah. <laughs> we have a landing page now which i have a question about reducing anxiety through nutrition with your oh picture and you can tell me more and this will take you to a link to ask autumn all the questions that are frequently asked <laughs> and I'll send it down in a second. But it's currently built and I actually yeah. will link it for you. I was thinking I could share the link with my yeah. audience. So if yeah. you guys want to ask Autumn more questions and see a little bit of what I built with chatbots and helping her with her business, check it out. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Autumn. Me so much stress. <laughs> yes! Um, and I want to also just wrap up this video saying one more thing, you guys. So like, I haven't even painted the picture of how bad my indigestion was. Before this month, just before this year, I was so reliant on this medication i'm not gonna even put the name in it because you guys are, you don't deserve to know the brand okay no free promo but this is senia fruit and a lot of fit teas have this chemical it's a very harsh laxative on your stomach i would take it every day and it's been a year and i would go to so many doctors and they would give me medication so i don't even know why i have that in my bag but <laughs> thank you autumn for helping me yeah. and um i hope everyone takes a charge of their nutrition check the link below to ask autumn a question and check her out on social thanks so much thank you, all right. thank you so much Bye. i'm so happy you're feeling better let's get some salad <laughs> all right thank you guys so much for watching today's video i want to conclude this video letting you know that there's not really a conclusion i found healing through food and feeling like, I have a meal plan that works for me. I'm so thankful. But there's some days where I still can't poo. There's some days where I'm still really stressed and I fall off. Please prioritize your health. If you need to visit a nutritionist, do it. If you need to find more time to educate yourself, visit a doctor, go. Because I'm telling you, I grew up in a like fucking really financially struggling childhood where we never went to the doctor um, unless it was like emergencies. And I never had the opportunity to have a nutritionist because that wasn't a luxury I usually have. So... Thank you so much, Autumn, for educating me. Um, thank you so much, you guys, for supporting me. And first of all, if you're someone who's dealing with any health struggle, I have so much empathy for you. I've had that my like, I've had something for my entire life, and I know how it feels to not live your life feeling just like being able to breathe. You know, feeling able like you can move normally. Health first, you guys. Take care of yourself. By all means what's the point of working hard growing your brand if you don't have a solid foundation in health health is wealth not gonna rant too long but i hope this is a sign for someone who is thinking about prioritizing health um if you're on the fence do it 100 percent. i encourage you to do you and prioritize yourself literally give this video a like if you found value from autumn she'd love it just let us know that you like this video because i hope it was helpful shout out to the comment winner shout out to the comment winner comment on this post to be featured in the next episode if you guys want to be the next comment winner all you gotta do is comment below no comment below a question you have for autumn and if you have an answer for it, you want to stop people in the comment section, let's go answer each other's questions. Let's help each other out. Let's get healthy, strong, and wealthy. Ew, that was so cringy. <clears throat> Catch you guys in the next one. I love you guys so much. Follow me on Instagram. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.